Hello again. We're on day 10. Golden rule today. Understanding, underlying moral, ethical understanding is a basis for self-help. Quote today, always treat others as you would like them to treat you. Of course, from Jesus. The point of this, as I wrote it in this book, was back from old adages that was earlier that were mentioned in the book, is you can't get without giving. You only get out what you put in. The way I wrote this was that at that time, that you have to have a ethical or moral base in order to succeed at self-help, in order to base your decisions on. The logic on it was that you have something you want to improve in your life, so you have to change your mind in order to make that happen. The most successful to do that do this is in a positive creative way and to an, maintain a positive creative approach to life there must be an ethical rational basis for making future decisions and thoughts otherwise you simply drop back into old habits which created the scene you're now seeking to improve what goes around comes around and I mentioned in this book about the idea of if you are trying to make your way through life and yet you don't have a base to work from, then it's much like getting into a rowboat in the middle of the ocean, or the middle of a huge lake, uh, in the very middle of it, and you have no udder, no rudder, no oars, no, no way to actually move the boat. So you're buffeted by the wind, the waves, any nature, anything that happens. You have just no way to get out of there. You just... You're stuck. Well, you could swim. I suppose you could swim with a, tow, with a rope tied around your waist or, you know. But that's way beyond where we want to go with this thing. That would at least put you at cause, but you aren't using the rowboat as a method of getting from here to there dry. And that's the point. You're all wet without a base. The whole... What came up later, and I'll just have to go into this, is what came up later is that, you know, I've said this, we're all connected. That there are no limits and we are all connected. That goes back to the oldest philosophy. I've done far, I, this particular point I did a lot more research on because it kept coming up. It's called the golden rule, not because it's a religious rule, but because it occurs in every single major philosophy and religion on the planet. It's observed by all of them. I don't care if you're Islamic, I don't care if you're Christian, Jewish, you know, any religion, even the most, some of the most obscure ones have observed this to be true. As you give, you will get. Treat your neighbor as yourself. Love your neighbor as, you tr as yourself. All these go around the same thing. You can't go around, and I've mentioned it in being critical, you can't go around being critical without getting criticism coming back at you. So it's a key point, but again, that's the basis of action, of creation, of self-help, of improvement. Because if you want to get better, then you must assume an internal beingness, as we've covered yesterday, or an internal positive attitude, approach, and then spread that throughout everything. Wallace Waddles, which we'll cover later this year in this transformation, has said that you have to be fill more than your given place in order to succeed. As you as you give far in excess of anything you expect to give and re, to receive in return, then things magic things happen because as you create more and give more value than you're giving in return, then the whole that actually brings abundance, allows abundance to manifest. Everything takes off from that point. Because that's the whole point. You can create, you can outcreate the world around you. It's really exciting stuff. But it starts with understanding, tit for tat. You know, you can't get without giving. You get to the same degree that you give out. But if you give out in, in advance and in excess of what you're receiving, then huge waves of stuff will start coming into because that's the way it works. But don't take my word for it. 
any of this, do not take my word for that this stuff works. Just because we found it in all these books, because everybody and their brother says it, I'm the first one to say, you know, kick over the traces of conventional wisdom. Don't follow conventional wisdom to get anything done. Follow your own bliss. Follow your own dreams, your own purpose. But understand and observe the world around you and find the commonalities which give you the system that everything runs on. This is all this book is. It's just a system I distilled from all these other people who've already distilled all this wisdom. And I said, here are the 14 common datums they all have in common, or mostly all have in common. These are the workable ones. And you take, and we narrow down, I know three books, five, that actually cover every single one of these points. And we'll, go, we'll be covering those this year in this year of transformation. For me, this was key. And especially with politics, with anything that creates an intense negative emotional aspect in somebody else. Why are you doing that? Why? If you put out criticism, you get back criticism. We covered that before. It's just like, so I've carefully today started taking off anybody that's on my lines on these social networks and stuff that are putting out this stuff on a regular basis. I don't need it. It's not going to make me better. It's not going to help me improve other people's lives so mine will improve. It goes on and on and on. And this point, we will keep mentioning, we're coming back to this point on regularly. So understand this is a very key and basic point. I can't get it across to you more strongly than this. The exercise today, let me just read it in its entirety. It's from Hanel again. Visualize a plant. Take a flower. You're sitting in your space where you always are. You've relaxed. This is now the visualization, visualization um, practice that we're going to do. Visualize a plant. Take a flower, the one you must admire, you most admire. Bring it from the unseen into the seen. Plant the tiny seed, water it, care for it, place it where it will get direct rays of the morning sun. See the seed burst. It's now a living thing, something which is alive and beginning to search for the means of existence. See the roots penetrating the earth. Watch them shoot out in all directions. Remember that they are living cells, dividing and subdividing, and that they will soon number millions, that each cell is intelligent, that it knows what it wants and knows how to get it. See the stem shoot forward and upward. Watch it burst through the surface of the earth. See it divide and form branches. See how perfect and symmetrical each branch is formed. See the leaves begin to form and then the tiny stems, each one holding aloft a bud. And as you watch, you will see the bud begin to unfold and your favorite flower come into view. And now, if you will concentrate intently, you will become conscious of a fragrance. It is the fragrance of the flower as the breeze gently sways the beautiful creation which you have visualized. Okay? Practice at it. Every day. Thanks.